today I'm joined by a true Renaissance man, like a man that uh, embodies the whole healthy mind, healthy body, uh, spirit. And um, his name is Prince Fortunatus. And uh, welcome to the show, man. I'm glad to have you here. Appreciate it, brother. Appreciate yeah. it. Give me like a warm entry. Give, give me like a, a short like clip or 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 rundown of what you do, who you are, like who, and and then we'll go from there. That's good. Well, it's hard to ask because I'm a very people don't people have a hard time pinning me down. Yeah. So okay. So for example, I grew up in Austria, which is super surprising if I tell this to people because everyone thinks I'm an American. But I grew up in Austria, a European yeah. country, not Australia, but Austria. <laughs> I grew up there. Yeah. And I was doing athletics. I started doing athletics, 100 meters sprinting. And I became Austrian champion multiple times in the 100 meters, the 100 meters, the 200 meters, and the 60 meters. And then I got a scholarship to the United States. That's where I was for three years. And that's where I also started my business. That was last year. And with this business now, I'm making over a million dollars a year. Fortune six, I'm I'm at six figures income now a month, awesome. and yeah, right now I'm just making sure I keep progressing, making sure I keep elevating, make sure I keep getting better and better. I believe a man has to be extraordinary. So, yeah, I get it. Like, and you're, I mean, you're obviously not the typical Austrian dude. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> No, probably not. Not in any aspect, bro. You sort of not stand out. Aspect. <laughs> yeah, I probably do. Maybe, I, I was yeah. I was there a few times. I mean, honestly, like I I, I don't think I, I I saw I saw a black guy ever. Like I mean, that that, that that's super rare there, right? Am I wrong? I mean, you do have black people. I mean, of course. I wait. Let me close the window real quick. It's super loud here. Yeah, sure. All right. But yeah, so there is black people. It's just, uh, it's not a lot of them. I mean, obviously, I know black people in, in Austria, but the yeah. population is only 1% black people. So yeah, it's almost, that's, yeah, that's basically almost zero. Yeah. Yeah. You don't, you don't see them just walking around and yeah, it's all basically zero. It's not like in America. In America, I was shocked, man. Because when I was studying in America, I, was, I would be like at the athletic meets, like I was in Georgia, right? Yeah. In Atlanta, you would just see like black people everywhere. I, that was shocking to me. Like I've never seen anywhere in the West, like Bro. anywhere where I grew up, anywhere in Europe, I've never seen so many black people at once. It was super interesting to me. I, I remember yeah. I rem I, I, flew, I flew to Las Vegas. This is like this is like almost 20 years ago, right? Flew to Las Vegas. Yeah. And my first stop yeah. was Atlanta. And then from Atlanta, you go to, to uh, Las Vegas, Nevada. And I get to the airport. Yeah. And it, the only people there were black people. And for me, like I'm, I'm from the Netherlands. Oh. So, and I'm from a rural area. So it was like, it's like bizarre. Like every, like everyone working there was, was black. And it was so, it was so like an otherworldly experience. Bro. It's weird. Bro, when I when I landed in Atlanta, I thought I was like in Africa or something. Like <laughs> literally only black people. Exactly. Yeah, I mean, exactly. I loved it. Like it's nice to see. Like I thought it was super interesting. Like I it, it re I really liked it because I've never I never seen something like this. No. In Europe, it's only white people. Yeah. But in Atlanta, if you land, it's literally like the whole airport is being operated everyone by black folks. Yeah. So it's super cool. It was nice oh, to see. Wow. But in Austria, it's, yeah, you don't you don't see something like that. So, but you, you speak yeah. German. I speak German too, yeah. All right, but like your yeah. your accent is American. Yeah, I mean, I grew up so I went to a bilingual high school. Yeah. So essentially, how it worked was I had let's say I have a subject biology, right? Yeah. I would have an American teacher or yeah. whatever she spoke English, but my main English teacher was American. But I would have an English speaker. And then a German speaker, and then we would have to have the half an hour of the subject in German, and then the next half an hour would be in English. Or, for example, we we'll talk about a subject in German, and then yeah. get All like right. homework in English. So that's how <laughs> I learned my English. And 
And yeah, I mean, all the YouTube videos and everything that I was watching was in American English anyway. And my, my professor was, was an American. So I just took on yeah, American no, accent. You took on the accent. I get it. So, and, yeah. and like, when did you pick up athletics when, when you were a kid? I started, that was like, I was 12, I believe. Yeah, 12, 12 years old. It's a funny story because I was, basically, it was, we were doing PE. Mm -hmm. And... I was trying to brag to the girls yeah. about how strong I am. I was like, yeah. <laughs> I'm going to brag. And I started doing push-ups, like spread super fast. Like I, I, like I think I pumped out like 50 push-ups or something. That's good. And the teacher came in and she was like, like what? Like she literally was like stunned. She was like, what the fuck? Like yeah. you, you're supposed to be doing any, a sport. Like she was asking me, do you do any sport? I was like, no, yeah. like, you, you should be doing a sport. I'm like, I don't know. Like, and a funny time, like, bro, back then I used to tell my dad because he told me too, like, like, you should be doing some sports maybe. And I used to tell him, I'm, I don't know if that applies. I don't know if it's the exact same saying in, in English, but in German, basically translate, it's like uh, sports is death or something like that. In German, it's Sport is Mord. So it yeah. rhymes in German, but it yeah. essentially says like... <laughs> If you do too much sport, you break down, then it's not good for your body. I yeah. used to think that. Yeah. But the teacher was like, you need to do some type of sports because you're a very athletic person. So she showed me this club and it was a, it was a, a athletics club, track and field club. And then I came in and I remember that year was, it was in the winter, like, like a month later, I already beat the, the fastest Austrian sprinter at that age. Holy shit. And then I became the fastest Austrian my age after like a, a month or something. And yeah, and then I was like, I like it. Obviously, if you win, you like it, you know? So yeah, of course. I started yeah. pursuing that. You're good at yeah. it. Of course. And I mean, yeah. right now you're like, you're, you're, you're built like a, like a Greek statue. Uh, was, was it like, were you already? Sure, you yeah. I mean, you, you look great. That's, it's just the thing. Give me too much love. <laughs> <laughs> well were you already like did, did you have the like the genetics the the was it back then as well yeah bro i'm not gonna lie i i know it sounds arrogant but some people are just better at something than other people right like yeah, some, of course some people are like language geniuses so like i was just born built i don't know yeah. why i don't know how my entire family like even my little brother he was six years old and he had a six like a legit full-fledged six-pack at the Holy age of six <laughs> so yeah like at, at the age of 12 i was just like built just bigger than everyone else like yeah. my muscles were just bigger and even now it, it i don't it doesn't need much i don't even go to the gym that often if you're like a an athlete yeah then athletes understand what i mean because if you're an athlete and actually try and be, be athletic you can't be in the gym all the time no. because what happens is you build too much size it shortens yep. your muscles you lose flexibility it's better to do some type of like band work, flexibility work, doing a sport. So out of the year, maybe I'll be doing like full gym work, maybe, I don't know, maybe four, four months a year. And only that maybe like two times a week or something. And, and it's not even like full flesh, like bench press, squatting, no, 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 I get it. some band work, some stability work. So yeah, I, I, I 100% have good genetic sport. So yeah, that's no, good. that's but I, mean, I think it's good. Everyone has something else. That that's true. Like I remember, I was in um, shit. What, what I was in in um, what's the what's the you have elementary school and what's after that? Is that high school? Yeah, elementary school, high school. Yeah, and, I was in high school and yeah, in college. And uh, some um, we I had a Moldavian classmate from Moldavia, and okay. I, I, I mean, okay. I would be hard pressed to point it out on a map right now, somewhere along Russia. Maybe they'll take yeah. it one of these days. And uh, I mean, the yeah. guy, <laughs> yeah. the, this was like he was like thirteen or fourteen. He was built like the yeah. that Ivan Drago guy from Rocky Four, like just a massive, yeah. enormous dude. And uh, I mean, some yeah. people are just built that way, right? And it, it's it's awesome. Yeah, some people just have the genetics. Yeah. Bro, I mean, it, it, like even my mom, like my mom has like, I mean, obviously she's not built, but you can see she's very strong. Like she yeah, has exactly. like strong muscles. Yeah. And even my sister is like my, my sister is, is how old is she now? She's six years old. 
like just a few weeks ago, she was like, hey, let me show you something. And I'm like, what? And if she starts doing push-ups, like on the just full <laughs> flesh push-ups, like Holy 10 shit. of them. I was like, bro, <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> but my, my little six-year-old sister was doing push-ups. Amazing. Yeah, I, I, I just have a strong family, so yeah, it, it, it runs in the genetics. So that's a great start. So now, now you're in athletics. You you start beating the the poor white boys, uh, and <laughs> <laughs> crushing them. <laughs> so, and uh, at what point, yeah, like, there's a lot of white guys. Yeah, <laughs> of there's course, five white guys that too, though. <laughs> like, at, at at what point, like, do you do you get the scholarship? How old are you then? I. I got the scholarship in 2000, what was it? 2018. Yeah, right. that's when I got the scholarship. And yeah, that year I also, that year I, become, I became champion in the 100 meters, the 200 meters and the relay. And it was a really, really good year because I really had the scholarship as my goal. You know, I always yeah. talk about people having to have goals and plans. And that year, a lot of things really came together because it was my plan, go to American University. Yeah. And I remember I was talking to these guys and they were telling me, yo, you need like these and these times to run this and this fast. And I was like, okay, I, I'll need to like break my records again and make sure I run much faster than I, than I did and even more so in the 200 meters. Yeah. Because my 200 meter time wasn't as fast as my 100 meter time yet. And I remember that year I was training like, like crazy like i was just five times uh a, a week and two times a day just training 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 wow. and that year i beat the the 200 meter champion who had, who had never beat before like he was way faster than me the 200 because i'm like a 100 meter specialist yeah and he was super good in the 200 and you know like essentially in every sport like you you mostly you sometimes have like some someone who's like basically the unbeatable guy yeah of course. you know yeah. like for example guy. in boxing it'll be mayweather right yeah or in other sports like it will just be like this one guy who's like you don't even like question beating him like he's just yeah. he's just he's just gonna beat you right and i remember telling people that you're like i'm gonna beat this guy and in the race and also championships like i was like if i see an underdog like people like thought i'd be like seventh place like yeah. eighth place and i came out first place and beat my personal records by such a such a huge margin it was even surprised to me. So yeah, that year was a fantastic year. Awesome. And that's when I got the scholarship to the to the US. And yeah, it was a super good decision. Like what, what is your what is your hundred meter time? Push and travel at that age. What? Well at that at that point, what what was your hundred meter time? At that point it was ten seventy nine, I believe. Holy shit, that's yeah. Nice. That's fine. That's that's what I ran at, at the champ. Fuck man. Appreciate it, bro. That's good. Yeah. yeah. And and I mean, I assume you've gotten faster since then, right? Yeah, of course, of course. Well, so what is it now? right now I'm at ten. Yeah, right now I'm at ten sixty four, and it, it was a little bit. The thing was that last year I was injured, so I was in really really good shape last year. Yeah. And I should have run a much faster time than I should have, than I'm at right now, because 1064 is like from 20, uh, 20, uh, 20 yeah. my personal record. Last year, I got injured. And this year, I was focusing a lot on business. Yeah. So, but I'm gearing up. In training, I'm still, I'm actually beating my records in training. So, these are just the official times I'm telling you. Awesome. But in training, I'm beating my records. So, I want to really go full-fledged. Like my plan is to go to the Olympics. Yeah, I want to go full flesh, full force, beat the Austrian record, go to the Olympics, and that's my goals right now. And if you go to the Olympics, will you be representing Austria then? Austria, yeah. Austria. So, uh, and and you're competing for the Olympic spots with the Austrian dudes. Yeah, exactly, exactly. And is that is that doable? I mean, one hundred percent. I I mean, I. I believe that very soon I'll be like the fastest Austrian ever, cool. like in history. So, yeah, I really awesome. believe so. Yeah, yeah. And well, so we'll see you... if that we'll see if that works out. Well, 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 I'm I'm a man of my word. So you take that, and then we'll see in five years where I stand. So now you said it, right? So, now you have to do it. So yeah. I also <laughs> said five years ago I'm going to be rich as fuck. 
Yeah, well, you're on the way. I, I told everyone <laughs> in my high school, I'm going to be rich as fuck. I'm going to be richer than all you. Good. And then, then it happens. So. Good. So, so now you go to America, uh, which is a, a very different world compared to Austria, right? So do, do you like oh, yeah. that, that um, switch? Did that mess you up? You know, I'm going to be totally honest. America was a little bit different. Like, I had some difficulties in the beginning because the main difference between America and Europe, from what I've seen, and I've traveled like many countries now. I'm in Panama now. I've even learned Spanish now. I wow. speak four languages now. Wow. And like, I've, I've seen cultures. And the, the difference between the, especially the Austrian culture and the American culture is in America, Every, like literally everything is performance based like and when i say performance based i don't even mean your sport i mean how popular are you i mean obviously how good are you at your sports yeah. like how, how how good is your style like how how like can you get girls it's all like, a contest you get, like the parties yeah every everything is a competition and i love that but to your question when i first came to america i had this problem with the ncaa i don't know if people know what the ncaa is i mean obviously every american will know but the europeans ncaa is basically the 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 governing body of the of the basically of all the sports in america yeah and they blocked me from running in the first year because of some rule that they said that i broke now i never broke this rule yeah. and at the end of the day they actually took back the decision and they basically said um, we're sorry and they added another year to my eligibility that's what it's called so yeah, okay. you have four years of college four years of eligibility they added that extra year back now i finished faster i finished in three years but when they took away that eligibility i was basically now in college and i couldn't run i couldn't show the people how good my skills were yeah and I, I couldn't even practice with my team. So now I'm there. My team is always away. I, I don't really talk to them. They don't really relate to me. They don't really know that I'm, that I'm, they don't really know that I'm like basically faster than, than them. They all just maybe know it on paper, but they don't see it. Right. Yeah. And uh, at the end of the day, I didn't really hang out with Americans that year. I was hanging out with other internationals. So that year was a little bit tough, you know, because it was just, like I said, if, if you don't have like as as a man, you always need like this pride, right? It's, yeah. You need a little bit of status. You need pride, yeah. you need status, and you just need like people acknowledging you, right? And if you come to a new country and you're not even like allowed to do your sport and you can't really talk to your team members and all that, it's a little yeah. bit tough. But yeah. for me, it was no problem. Like at the end of the day, I persevere. And yeah, and then and you learn and adapt as well. So, but the second year everything was fine, and America was great. America was fantastic. So you learn, like I said, in America everything is based on calm. Your serious threat, and I like that a lot because in Austria, I mean, everything I talked about in the about the first year, like being the circumstance that I had, it all yeah. switched like afterwards. Now. All, all of a sudden, I was like the man. People know me as like the, the big guy, the stylish yeah, guy, the fast guy. Yeah. And you, like you get respect. Now, yeah. in comparison to Austria, now it's different than Austria. Because even if you're like a super legit guy in Austria, Austria is different. Because in Austria, it's not really about the society isn't built up around performance. Yeah. The European culture is not built. Like, you know what? I mean, 100% it's not right. built around performance. Yeah. Like, yeah, you just right. have your friends, like, yeah. this friend is here, this friend is there. You yeah. just all chill together. It's based on, like, you know, do I like you, do I not like you? It's not based on, like, who's the most popular. It's very different. Correct. Who's, like, the, the, the strongest in school. Yeah. Yeah, so, at the end of the day, I liked it because well, you get you you're work at the top of the food and, chain. And, and Obviously, you like it. And you get status for it, so. Well, yeah. I mean, you were the man. Obviously, you like yeah. it. Yeah, I mean. exactly. <laughs> Like I, I remember, yeah. I mean, I, I yeah, was, I was in, uh, asking me about the adaptation. <laughs> That's how it was. I, 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 I was in, I was a, a pro athlete as well in school. 
and uh, and it's very like yeah. it's it's very recognizable where you you sort of get your status from that because you know if if you if you couldn't show it yeah. well then they take away a major part of your personality and your status as well right but now if you can show 100%. it like, you're the man I mean, obviously 100%, 100%. Yeah. and but it, it's that, that is true yeah. like it, uh, even in the netherlands we have the um, we have a saying where it's it's my least favorite saying in the netherlands but it's um just act normal and that's crazy enough already. And that, that's sort of the the attitude. Like, just, you know, pipe it down. Just you yeah. know, don't. Yeah. It's the polar opposite. Exactly. From America, exactly. Right. In Europe, in Europe, you get you get look like in Europe, you don't look good if you're like the if you're like trying to show that you're the top yeah. dog. Exactly. Right? Yeah. Like people are like, yo, like, what's wrong? With this yeah, world? exactly. It's like, what the fuck? <laughs> I don't I don't like that at all about Europe. And no, I mean. think it's honestly a symptom of like Europe not being as like Europe used to be like the the, the basic the greatness of the world, right? Like yeah, we used to control everything. We own the world. And now essentially they got beat by America because America was more competitive. And 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 I have like I don't know if I should say this, but I have this person and he told me this. Might sound imp- politically incorrect but who cares yeah what he told me was essentially in the second world war all the great men all the heroes that went to war in world war one and world war two they died 100 and they left behind yeah. the people who are not as competitive anymore yeah so who knows if that's true who knows yeah well, but, it makes uh, sense yeah, in, a, in a way it makes true. sense right yeah the, all the heroes got killed in world war one and world yeah. war two the high testosterone man died and then the pussy stayed behind and now you know we're their offspring <laughs> that sucks ass <laughs> i mean yeah i mean who knows who knows who knows if that's true but it's just an explanation you know but yeah. it's definitely a huge difference that i've seen the the whole american culture is built based on competition and based on performance on excellence that's 100 percent. Right? yeah and excellence yeah wanting to be the yeah, best 100%. yeah so so now you're there and you're doing well. And I mean, what what's the money like in 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 sports? Is that is that is there good money in there? Like, I assume it's not like the the NBA or the, or the you know the football players. Well, in in athletics, in, especially in, I mean, hundred meter sprinting is where, where the most money is at. That's where you can earn the most money. Yeah. Now, there's not that much money in it because in order to make a lot of money. You basically need to be like Olympic champion, world champion. And not only that, but you need to be able to like beat the world records and etc. Yeah. And per definition, that's a very, very low probability chance of that happening. Yeah. So let's say you go to the Olympics, let's say you become a world champion. Or okay, let's say you go to let's, let's say you go to the world championships, right? You're a really, really good sprinter. And now I get to the finals, which is like a huge accomplishment. You have, you have to think. Essentially, yeah. sprinting is an all is an all out sport in the sense where you like it's not it's not like fighting, it's not like boxing. With sprinting and, and athletics, you basically compete in, against the entire world. If you become yeah. more champion in sprinting, or if you become the fastest in the Olympi- in, in the Olympics in the hundred meters, you can essentially confidently say that you're the fastest motherfucker on earth Obviously. like you understand what i mean yeah like 100%. there's no one on earth that yeah. can beat you i mean i can sprint so the right? competition is way way higher yeah yeah the competition is way bigger now if you if you get to the if you go to the finals that's a huge accomplishment that's yeah. probably 0.0000 percent of the world but even then, if you're like seventh place, sixth place, fifth place, no one cares. No, you're not gonna exactly. get the big sponsors. Yeah, yeah you're not gonna make money. Yeah, you're not bro. You're not gonna make <laughs> big money. It's crazy. Even no. though you're like zero point zero 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 percent of the world. So, no, it's, it's interesting, really, because like, um, basically, with any like, I, 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 um. I did some track and field, but I I, I I I also fought. And everyone thinks, you know, I can fight, I can box. Like, and you can't fight for shit if you've never done it. Like, it's a skill set. It's actually like wow. you have to learn, yep. you know. But basically, yep. anyone can sprint. Like, not anyone can sprint fast, but you can run in a straight line, right? And yeah, yeah exactly. you, 
you're competing against all of those people, which is a massive pool. Exactly. Mm. Like me and you could like, yo, let's see who's faster. Let's sprint. Yeah. Like, you know what I'm saying? Easy. So with, with that, it's like the, everybody's competition. And then additionally to the to that fact, you have it that in, in athletics, it's not like in boxing, because in boxing, for example, um, Anthony Joshua can be world champion. Then uh, Deontay Wilder can be world champion. Uh, and they can be world champion at the same time. Yeah. They were this world champion. Like you have all these world champions all at the same time. Right? Exactly. Yeah. For the people who don't. Oh, wait. Can you still see me? Yeah, you, you, were, you were gone for a second. Wait, someone's. Because I'm on my phone. Someone's calling me. Let me. How dare get you? Get out of the way. He accidentally left. Well, he'll be back. They, they always go back. I'm Arno. Let me see if I can get him back on. There All you right, are. Bro, sorry about that. Uh, <laughs> no worries. About, uh, <laughs> yeah. All right, it's cool. All right, got that out. So yeah. Uh, where was I? So yeah, with the with boxing is different, right? With boxing, essentially, you have like all these organizations, and an organization can essentially just say, "I'm gonna make like I'm gonna create a world championship now, and yeah. everyone can join. Yeah. I can create. I'm gonna create a Euro European championship. Everyone from Europe can join. Yeah. And if you win that organization, now you're world champion. In sprinting, it's it's very very different, and in, in athletics, I ain't got weight classes, right? World. I mean, you're competing against and everyone. Weight class. Yeah, you, right? doesn't matter weight class. Doesn't matter age. I mean, of course, age that matters if you're young. Yeah, you yeah. Have like the U twenty, the U. But if you're an adult, you're an adult. You keep yeah. competing against every adult in the world, and yeah. you're competing against any weight class, like everything. So. No, man, I just realized it's actually funny. Like a, a while ago, I have a little brother. He's a uh, 17 years younger than me and a while ago okay. uh, i was i was of course telling him that he was weak and uh and then he, and then i and then he said okay. that, I, that he could run faster and then we did a sprint contest yeah and i won but i won by like this much it was super close and then uh, uh, uh -huh. we we spar every once in a while when we spar in boxing it's not super close. Like it's it's this wide yeah. where I beat him up easily, right? I, and I I go in twenty percent, and then I still beat him up, and that's the main difference, yeah, right? Yeah. There's there's all the the little intricacies that you that you don't have with a sport like running, where it's just you know uh, pure force and I don't know what it is like fast muscle fiber. I'm I'm not it's I'm a not a sprint expert, right? A sport. Yeah, sprinting is purely a physical sport, of course. The better your technique is, the more efficient you run. The, yeah, the better you run. So it's, it's it's of course also a lot of skill, but at the end of the day, it's, it's a purely physical sport. You can't outsmart your opponent. You can't no. outthink your opponent. You can't do you can't do any tactics or something. There's no it's special line. No. Yeah, it, it doesn't matter. Like there's a world championship in 2024 on this date. Everyone in the world can compete. You show up there. You need to run on that day. It doesn't matter if you're sick. It doesn't matter. You can't move the fight. You can't cancel the fight. You, you can't, yeah. you know what I mean? You, you can't, you can't move the championships. You, you yeah. show up at this day, you run against the entire world. Essentially, if you win, you, if, if you win, then, then, then you're great. Yeah. If you don't, so no one knows who you are. It's a very tough sport actually. Yeah. So exactly. Exactly. Mm, did you ever like, did you ever do any other track and field stuff? Like, uh, I don't know. Like th there's many disciplines in that sport, right? Did you ever try that? Yeah. Yeah, when I was young, I was like, in the, when you're young, you do a bunch of stuff. Yeah, stuff, of course. Right? Like you will do like uh, long jumping, high jumping, shot puts. Yeah, I did yeah. all of that. But at the end of the day, you then start concentrating on the thing you're the best at. Yeah, you were most talented in sprint. Yeah, exactly. Okay. So, and now you get to America. You 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 have your your whatever your license or your approval to run. You're doing well. 
Yeah. You're not making that much money. And like, at what point do you, do you decide to go in business? When does that, when does that happen? Bro, I was hustling my entire teenage years, bro. Like I was always trying to be in the business, you know? So I was always trying to do something, man. I can remember like from the age of like 15, I would like flip shoes. Like I'd be flipping Yeezys and (laughs) Like, I would make, like, a quick $300 here, $50 cool. here, and then buy some clothing. I was always trying to hustle myself into some type of money. Yeah. And when it was a little bit more serious, what I tried was drop shipping. Yeah. I tried that in, like, 2019. 20, yeah, 2019 is when I tried drop shipping, even, like, a little bit before, 2018, 2019. The funny thing is I made... Like I made like 20k in in revenue really? with drop shipping, but the p- problem was that I kept zero of it because of all the costs, all the ad costs in the end. <laughs> That's and, not good. <laughs> and that was also during the election. So 2019, 2020, the election was leading up. So Facebook was so strict with oh. the ad, like the, the ad accounts and everything. So it. I was on the review. I got shut down here, there. So. Yeah. At the end of the day, I lost all the money, all the 20K that I made from drop shipping. And I was like, bro, fuck. Like, I, I'm not gonna continue. Because with drop shipping, you need to you need money in order to make money. Yeah. Yeah. So you need a certain start capital. Ideal situations right? if you, you don't need money. Yeah. Yeah. yeah that you need that the best situation, honestly, to make money nowadays, if I had to start off from, from scratch, essentially the way you do it is you offer someone. You offer help to someone and it's at no cost to them, right? They, like they don't have to pay for it. But once you earn them money, then they give you a share of it, right? Like, for example, you, you, you come up to someone like, hey, bro, I could do your emails in the yeah. beginning. It's at no cost to you. I'll show you I'm good at it. Do a couple of emails for you. And if you like it, then we can negotiate some type of deal or like some yeah. type of service business. A service business where you can essentially sell your time and effort you don't have to like put up money into a business yeah. where you can then lose all the money and then you start from zero again best way to start is to, to to see like how can i what 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 can i offer someone like your skill and your time and 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 then tell them look i'm gonna do a free trial for you you can see how it is you mess a bunch of people and if one of them says yes, then you can try it out and, and, and get better at it and then negotiate some type of deal. So, but how do you build up that skill? Because like you're a, you're a, a dude from Austria, you run fast. <laughs> I, you, you sound like a smart dude, but how, how do you build up the skill? How do you get there? So the most important thing, and it sounds super complicated, right? Everything I talk about will sound like mathematics equations. Right, because and and the reason that is because you're not, not familiar with it. Yeah. For example, just recently, I was just uh, getting all my finances sorted out, like taxes and all that. It all sounded like mathematical equations for me. Yeah. But now, when people it's like when my lawyer and everything was explaining it to me, it, it starts to make sense. It's actually not that hard. Same yeah. thing is with business. So the act the fastest way if you want to like make money, this is like I, it's not the it might not be the easiest way. But it's going to be the absolute fastest way is find someone, find out someone that already makes money. Ask the person, how do you make your money? And then he's going to explain you what he does to make money. And then you just imitate what he does. Because whatever a person explains you something, it's going to be way like it's going to be much simpler than watching a YouTube video watching uh uh like reading something on the internet yeah and 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 if people don't know right like i have an only fans agency where i manage only fans girls yeah. right and the way it started was essentially like i was at a table with someone and he just explained to me yo i uh i do this and it's just super simple i do this this and this i was like okay shit let me just do this as well and, I, and then that's how i started making money right yeah and Essentially, it's just find someone who already makes money, ask them how they do it, and then just imitate the steps. That's the, that's the fastest way to, to, to achieve something. Yeah. 
because everything else, YouTube videos, like when I was watching YouTube videos and how to get rich and all that, it was, it sounded super complicated to me, man. Like I, it was like gibberish. I didn't know where to start. It's very and conceptual, right? Guys, it's, it's big picture stuff where you don't, you can't really grasp it. Like it sounds good, but. Exactly. Yeah, exactly. They'll, they'll be like, yeah, they'll just see all these cliches and all these things that sound good. No, what you need is like practical advice. Do this, then do this, then do this. And then if you work hard, you can get rich. That's all it is. It's actually, I mean, in a way it's funny because I remember reading, uh, I remember reading your story uh, where, um, where you said, I, I went to a meeting, met some people that were doing this. Then I, I started emulating that. I got to a certain level. And then I met some other people and they told me to add a certain aspect to it. And then I went to a whole different level again. And that that's the way that that's the way it builds, right? Exactly. Exactly. Yeah. So it's, that's, that's really how it is. Like you just, the, the fastest way is to just, just be familiar with other people who are already at the level you want to be at. Now I know also that sounds like a cliche. It sounds like, yo, you know, find the millionaire friend and then you're also going to become a millionaire. You know, it's, 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 that can be hard, right? But there's ways to do it. If you put yourself in the correct uh, places, if you, if you find the correct online communities that can help you, yeah. then it's, it's 100% much easier than it was ever before. So how did you, how did you find out about that? Like, how, how did you get there? Like wh what brought you from Austria to sitting at the table with people that actually knew what they were doing in business? Well, at the end of the day, you know, I, I, a lot of these people, I don't want to say who they are because, you know, I don't want to, it's, it's, they're, they're very confidential people, of course. Yeah. But at, at the end of the day, at the end of the day, what I did was I was essentially searching online for people who are in the position that I want to be, right? Whoever it is. Yeah. And at the end of the day, you need to figure out how can you actually get in contact with those people and how can you make them, how, how can you, how, how can you sit at the same table with them? How can you get them to talk with you? Yeah. And I think that's the more important question because those are the basics. The way you can do it is either you give them value, yeah. right? You offer them something valuable either your time or some skill that you have. Yeah. Now, most of the guys that are watching this probably won't have a skill that they can offer that's valuable. Like for example, in my position now, I can actually like, I can talk to people and I have a skill in something. Let's say I know, like I'll, at this point, I know much more than I knew before, right? Like when I started this journey, right? Yeah, obviously. Like yeah. people come to me and they ask me questions and they, they, want, they want stuff from me. So I can leverage that much more easily. Yeah. Now, if you don't have the skill, you can offer some of your time. Like you can t say, say someone, tell, you can tell someone, yo, I can do this for you. You know, I want to learn from you. I can, is there something I can help with? I can do this for you. I can do this and this and this for you. I've also done this, right? You, you do people favors. Yeah, of course. Or the, the, the fastest way you do it is just paying to get to talk to a person. Yeah. Like literally, if you have the money and there's someone that you want to learn from, just go up to them be like, yo, like, can I pay you? And we do like some type of call or can I pay you? And now I can like, I'm in contact with you. You know, these type of things. Yeah. You, the, the game is sold and not told, especially uh -huh. nowadays. That's good. The, and I, I, I know this because I'll, I'll be like looking at YouTube videos, right. Of people like that are actually like super, super successful. Like even people I've watched before. And I've seen this comparison, like people that I've watched three years ago when I was not that successful and then people that I watch now when I am successful. And what I've noticed is a lot of these YouTube videos are dumbed down. Yeah. And it's not necessarily even their fault. It's the fault of the people who are watching. Because 100%. people are watching. They, they want like, how should I say? They want everything glamorized. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like yeah. everything nice and <laughs> looks cool and supercars. Give me the girls, sexy stuff. Whatever. Yeah, I love that. Yeah, they want <laughs> they want entertainment. Yeah. So when people make these videos, and I also make YouTube videos now, right? When yeah. people might make these videos, 
they're basing their videos more in the direction of entertainment and not of like practical solutions like boom like dry That's sexy, practical right? food. yeah exactly mm. so so yeah that, that's the problem that i've seen so you, you can't rely too much on these youtube videos either it's kind of a tough thing the best way honestly is whoever you respect whoever you see and there's people online right that make money like they show the faces that you, you can see who they are yeah. if someone that has a program and you like it join the program like yeah. just pay the money and, and join the whatever program it is. Like, yeah. like for example, even in my sports, right? Like I, I just saw this person. He's a collegiate athlete, yeah. and um, he he brought up this new program that he has. Yeah. It's like fifty fifty dollars or something. And instead of just me watching YouTube videos and sprinting, like I'll just like buy the program. Now yeah. I buy the program. I'm one step close to him. Now I could, for example, text him, "Yo, I just bought this program." Like. I, uh, I would like to talk to you as well. Like, can I pay like 250 for like an hour Zoom call with you? I'd like to ask some questions. Yeah. And now in the Zoom call, you're closer to him, right? You can like be charismatic. You can ask him questions. You can help him out. Maybe you can find out something that he needs. You yeah. identify some of his needs, what, 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 what you could help him with. Now he can offer you time, you know? Yeah. And, and then that's how you come closer to these people. So you can do it like that. You can join like programs. Uh, like you can get into these online programs online rooms there's so many of them now but you have to identify which person you respect which person do you look up to and then you can just pay the money yeah no 100 percent. get close to them that's what i would recommend honestly it has never it has never been easier than today to to find these people and to get close to them never ever like uh, i mean you are you are uh you're i'm in my uh late 30s you're quite quite a few years younger than i am but uh like when i when yeah, i started bro, out bro i mean the internet wasn't like today like i mean you, you couldn't just you, you couldn't really reach people that well these days holy shit man i'm i t- even i mean even for me i'm i'm amazed I, I reach out to people and then they actually respond and i fuck's sake i mean i'm uh, you, you, I just send a DM and I get it back. It, it, it it's still amazing to me. Uh, and Can you hear me? Come again? Can you hear me? Yeah, the connection you. kind of went. Oh, you're oh, okay, perfect. No, but it, what I was yeah, saying was, right, it, cool. it, it's just incredible, like how 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 much easier it is these days to to reach someone. And um, like for me, like I'm I'm uh, I, I made some money. I, you know, I, I, I run, I run my own business and, and a couple other things. So it's easier to connect to people because you sort of know what's going on in their mind. That's something that I see. I don't know if, if, the, if this resonates with you, but plenty of young dudes reach out to me, probably also to you. And yeah. then it's clear that they have no clue of like how busy things can get or or all the stuff that you have to do like i I get messages saying hey how are you like dude for fuck's sake i got stuff to do i mean you can't just ask me how are you (laughs) what are you doing yeah (laughs) bro what you want to ask holy shit (laughs) bro bro, it's, it's it's crazy like you're so right because like i mean the thing is I, I understand these people because, like I've said, I used to be in their position. Yeah, exactly. So I, I, I just didn't understand. I just yeah. didn't understand. Yeah. So people text me now, and, and I get it. Like, the, the more successful you get, the more busy you get, and you start having to filter very, very hard which information can you pay attention to. Because yeah. you make more money, but you don't – like, your focus is still the same. Like, you, you can't – double triple like 10x your focus no no there's like, only you have one to of you right things. make sure yeah. you only get the relevant information yeah and if you already if you get people now they give you like bullshit like they just hey how are you like bro i have like my manager Fuck here off. i have my banker here i have my lawyer here they all want something from me like what do you mean how are you like, <laughs> like you don't even pay attention to it. like it's just okay whatever i feel you yeah <laughs> Yeah, no, but there's only one prince, and, and there's a lot of them. But there's only one you. Exactly. Right? That that's the exactly. hard part. And then, I mean, let's say uh, you you go back in time and, and you go back to the clueless version of Prince, like, 
and you wanted to reach you now, how would you do it? Like you would obviously you wouldn't say, Hey, how are you? But what would you say? Honestly, bro, like I've said, if I had to reach me now, like yeah. I'm talking about the quickest, like the, the like just boom, mm -hmm. right? I would just send myself a DM and be like, I mean, look, I don't, and, and, and look, someone's not come, gonna come like, oh yeah, he's trying to like, you know, sell something. Bro, I'm just saying, if it was me and you wanted to talk to me and just get 100% full attention from my time immediately, I would just like send a message to my DM, for example, and be like, hey, Prince, I want to talk, talk, I would like to talk to you and get, get, get and, and, and uh, ask you some questions. Can we do a Zoom call for 250? 30 minutes whatever like yeah. that was that would have the highest probability of me saying yes like you understand what i mean no 100 you're instantly offering me value and you're showing me you're a person that understands that in order for me to give you something like the, the quickest way to get something back is if you also bring value mm -hmm. know what i'm saying 100 yeah no i get it yeah, I mean, so I, I got I got messages from people saying, "Hey, uh, I want to spar you. When are we going to spar?" I'm like, bro, yeah, no, it's not gonna happen, <laughs> it, bro. It, it's just not gonna happen, bro. What's wrong with you? It, no, <laughs> yeah, it's not gonna happen, man. So, and it's just it's, it's just these young guys, you know. Like, it's I mean, they're young, they're unexperienced. Like, to see, like they think my their inbox, my inbox is like their inbox. Like, yeah, like, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, exactly. So, yeah. It's it's yeah. um um I heard I heard Tristan Tate say this. It's a profound lack of social awareness where you, for whatever, like it's almost like a psychopath where you where you can't imagine like wh what's going on in the reality of the dude that you're messaging. Right? It's it's weird. It's like I mean, let's it's like those incels messaging a chick with, with the cringe messages. I mean, you must see a lot of those if you're in the yeah. OnlyFans. <laughs> Bro, <laughs> they understand, bro. If I say you're one of many, you're one of many, bro. Yeah. So yeah, like, and and that's why I say, like, in order to reach these people, you need to demonstrate value. Yeah. And honestly, that's one of the lessons I, I even me, I realized in the last, even the last few weeks now. Like, I, I was, I was really thinking, like, like a lot of people try to talk to me now. A lot of people ask for advice, and I'm not necessarily a that much of a different person who I was yeah. even to 10 years ago. Like, I yeah. mean, I'm 20, 23 now. Like when I was 13, I don't think I was like as a person, like as an actual person, that much different. Yeah. Like, you know what I'm saying? It's yeah. just, I've come further. So, but what I've realized is people measure you by the value that you have. And that's the only thing that I've changed now. I yeah. was able to create more value which is why people, and you remember when I talked about, about the American thing or yeah. like I couldn't demonstrate that I had value and that's why people weren't talking to me yeah. or not that people weren't talking to me. What I mean is that I couldn't really associate with my team. Yeah, there's no connection now, really. Yeah. yeah, so you need to demonstrate value. So for example, because you just mentioned Tristan Tate, let's take the Tates, right? Yeah. Who do you think the Tates would rather talk to? A... 13 year old brokey like that spamming their dms or dan bilzeri if dan bilzeri meshes tate or, or tristan they're gonna respond brokey meshes them they don't care or they don't care as much like that you're no one so at the end of the day people measure you value like who are you what can you do yeah you measure a man at the end of the day doesn't matter how nice, how cool. If Putin called Tate, like, yo, bro, I feel you. You got banned and everything. Yo, let's like let's talk about this. Tate would pick up the call instantly. <laughs> like, it would stop everything. Putin called. Need to need to talk to him. So yeah, you need to you need to create value. You need to show value. That's that's even more important. Not, not because I remember when I talked about the American thing. Not only do you have to be valuable, but you have to show that you're valuable. Yeah. Uh, right. So and and that's you also have to show get, that you get it, notice. right? That that you're you're, yeah. you're in the know in 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 a way. It's uh it's very similar to uh, well, I mean, uh, I'll I'll not 
I, I won't uh, I won't take this away from you, but I, I think it's very similar to women, where if you're in the inbox, it's immediately noticeable if you're someone that gets it, if you're a real dude, or if you're like a simp, someone that doesn't get it. And you of all people, if you like, because yeah, well, I, I already like I already know. Um, if I don't ask you this, people are gonna like revolt because um the the whole OnlyFans thing like to yep. the young dudes this is like the the holy grail like i mean i i get to talk to hot chicks and then also make money that's amazing oh man and then yeah. <laughs> usually they're they're virgins when they say this so uh <laughs> yeah yeah <laughs> tell me i totally get it <laughs> tell me a little bit about that and how because i assume uh, Prince wasn't a virgin when he started his whole OnlyFans adventure. No, <laughs> no, no. no. <laughs> I mean, you know, I, I I get it. Like OnlyFans is probably like if I get OnlyFans agency, it does really sound it might not sound so professional, but it's yeah. actually like one of the most professional things that I've ever done. Yeah, because it teaches you a lot of stuff. It teaches you immensely. Because at the end of the day, it's it's a full fledged business that you're creating and you know people like you're you're already like kind of like mentioned like yo i get to talk like you know I, I i get to talk to hot girls and make the money yeah so i'm not at all interested in any of the chicks or i'm not interested i don't even look at their content i don't even look at the, the, the things that, like the the content that they send i don't care like it's just a business i just want to make money yeah search for the contract like oh, um, I, I, I treat so with a distance and it's all about money so it's your business it partners you a lot of stuff is that a good way to put it sorry your business partners with the girls can you say it again so so you're you're partnering well, with the girls you're not I mean well, I, I would even say I would even say now they're more like employees yeah because they're already partners because I, I offer them a service. So it's essentially, look, all I need from you is content, pictures, and videos. Everything else is done for you. Like, everything else is done for you. I don't even need you doing anything. You could just chill in your bed and do nothing. You just go to sleep. Go to the movies. Go wherever you want to go. It's That's like awesome. a service. Yeah. So, so yeah. But uh, the, the, the agency thing has taught me a lot of stuff. It's taught me like how to first of all, run a business, how to deal with people, how to, you know, because especially if you deal with girls, man, you need to make sure that, you know, girls are very, they, they think emotional. Yeah. So you got to make sure that everything's pay with them. You know, you always got the, the girlfriend who just broke up with the boyfriend and, and then you got to like talk to, to her about it. And she's always drama. And tell everything's OK. Everything's OK. Yeah, always some drama, you know, then and, and a lot of times, honestly, you also become friends with the girls. Right. Like, but actually just platonic friends, because they, they tell you about like how their life is, like you, you give them advice, how to deal with certain situations in the life. So you learn to deal with people. Yeah. You know, you deal with a lot of people, you, know, you learn how to deal with employees. Like yeah. you learn how to how to how to make management systems. Uh, you, you learn about stress tolerance, you know, because at this point I'm like I'm like if you just count everyone together that I'm basically responsible for, it's probably like forty people, right? Like wow. from the employees and models, oh, everything. Yeah, you, you learn you learn taxes, you, you learn financial systems, you know, you learn how the banks work. Uh, you, you learn so many things, man. You learn processors. You learn all these things. You you you, you travel a lot because moms are always, and I've met some of them also in person already. You know, South so, America, Europe, everywhere. So, but this is like a if I if I look back at my own uh, journey of of starting a business, getting my first employees. Fucking up with my yeah. first employees, uh, yeah, repeatedly, and um, yeah, <laughs> uh, it's it's a gradual progression, you can, right? You can say it repeatedly, yeah. 
you, you start I know small, exactly right? Mean. right? Yeah, exactly. Exactly. So, so, um, so th- did you get into the whole thing thinking like, oh, I'm going to talk to hot chicks and this is going to be awesome? The no, bro. That's what I'm saying. Like, I was only, only interested in the money. Business. Mm-hmm. Now, look, there's two ways to do to do this OnlyFans thing. So either you do full fledged business, basically you just the chick says, "Hey, I want to do this." Send a yeah. contract, boom, boom. Or there's a lot of guys who also like do it with the girlfriends, right? Yeah. You have like a guy as a girlfriend. You tell the girlfriend, "Look, we could do this if she wants to." To do it you start doing it so they do it together as a couple but now when i say as a couple that doesn't mean that the guy does only fans yeah, yeah only the girl does only fans he manages but the guy her boyfriend essentially becomes manager yeah because yeah. at the end of the day the girls always need someone. there is no girl and it's just it's basically zero all the only fans girls you see all the successful ones they're all managed by someone just need management because girls by their nature, don't like they don't feel the urge of competition. Girls yeah. don't have to compete for money because that's not how the world looks at girls, right? Yeah. Girls are kind of like you look at them, are you sweet, are they feminine? You know, sweet and feminine girl is always is, is gonna go much farther, right? Than mm-hmm. the rookie. So yeah. that's not how girls are measured by. And they don't feel like this pressure of like, I need to like step up. I need to make money. I need to become a someone like at the end of the day, you can all this families and stuff, all this like abs- girls just don't have the pressure. And if yeah. you don't have, don't do not have the pressure, then you're just not going to do it. Now that's why girls need ne- needs management because you, you need that guy who's going to sit at his computer. He's going to be thinking literally like all these waking hours, how, how can I move this business? Yeah. How can I make sure all, all the wheels are turning? How can I make sure everything is optimized? How can I sure it's efficient? How can I make sure the taxes are done well? How yeah. can I make sure you know the, the, the banks are okay? How can I make sure that the, the employees and how can I build girls won't do that by themselves? They just won't. Yeah. So at the end of the day, the girls always have a manager. Now the manager can be just a business partner, for example. Like you said, yeah. or it can be the boyfriend. Yeah. And but I personally, I never went into it thinking, "Yo, let me do this for the chicks," because I was already getting chicks. I like I was already getting getting chicks. I was. a I massive no point, man. I, I yeah. yeah. I, I, I'm glad you brought. I'm glad you brought that up actually, because it's a uh, that's a massive thing. Like people sort of conflate this this whole thing, saying, "Oh, I'm gonna you know I'm gonna hit two birds with one stone. Like I'm gonna lose my virginity." And I'm going to put her only fans. This is going to be awesome. And this is not going to be awesome. I can tell you that. Yeah. I mean, <laughs> it won't end well. No. <laughs> no, 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 no. Just, Bro, no. <laughs> you know, it's funny. It, it's, it's funny because I know this guy. And, uh, you know, he was also doing it with his girlfriends. And I was like, posting him, right? I was like, look, you do this with your girlfriends. And it's cool, but think about it. Not only do you have to, you know, do this with your girlfriend and and uh, money wise, whatever the the agreement is, yeah. but whatever money you 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 give her and that you receive, you need to also calculate. Now you need to give her the attention, you need to give her your time, yep. you need to give her all these things that a girl wants, right? Yeah. And at the day, it's actually a liability business wise. So if you're thinking, if your mindset going in is going in is, yeah, I get to talk with hot chicks and maybe get laid. It's a wrong mindset. It's it's a bad mindset yeah. because it's a but it's it's business. You need to make money. So yeah. you can't go in there with a mindset of like, yo, let me get laid. It's, it's so weird. It's not good. No, no, I completely agree. It's it's similar. You know, it's it's almost as dumb as sleeping with your employees or something, which happens a lot yeah. as well. Like it, that's retarded. I mean, dude, come and, on. And 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 saying that it's funny because you know I have these girls and essentially you you do get into a power position. Yeah. And when I say that, it's not to sound like creepy or something, but it just is what it is. Essentially, yeah. you you're the boss. You're like this twenty three year old boss 
Yeah. And you're making all this money, you know, you basically tell the chase, look, I need this, I need if you tell this, like what you need, you tell like you're in the power position of 40 for them. Yeah. And you're young, you're successful, yeah. you're an authority. Like they 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 actually that's actually what girls actually want the man. So I have girls, like they'll start flirting flir- with me. Like I've had girls to be like, hey, can we can we can we like call? Can we make a video call? And I'll I'll be thinking like it's some type of business call, whatever. Like yeah, of course. Yeah. To tell me something. Whatever. Like we're doing now. And then she'll call me. Yeah, she'll call me. She like like and, and she like, hey, look, haha, look at and she'll call me baby and <laughs> go to go I uh, hope you go to uh, bed and uh sleep well, sweetie. Like they'll just like they, they just sneak it in, right? Yeah, yeah. And I'm like, no, 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 I no. Can't, can't do this. Can't do this. <laughs> no. Can't do this, bro. <laughs> no, I get it. I mean, I have this guy, and I know someone. He always like says 2040. 2040, you need to be careful because you got all these me too, and in 2040, it might be worse. So no, oh, I'm trying. 100%. I'm trying all that shit. Yeah, you'll get fucked. So, no, no. <laughs> I agree. Yeah, it's actually a liability. Might it, it might be a liability to move your girlfriend? And, yeah, and, and it's, it's a just dumb. you need to be you need to be professional. It's it's also a stupid liability because I mean. You're, you're yeah. talking to like even like even I know you're you don't have you said you you're you're sort of responsible for 40 people, but let let's say all 40 of them are like beautiful are like your harem, your beautiful hot girls, whatever. I mean it's only 40. Yeah. How many other are there? There's unlimited girls, right? Yeah. And there are more every exactly. day. Exactly. What is, yeah, what is wrong with you? Fuck's sake. I mean and, exactly and, so. In a way, what 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 makes what makes a lot of sense to me, when you say that, you know, you start you start making good money, you're young, you're traveling, you're dressed well, you're in authority. It shouldn't be an issue for you to get girls at all, and I assume it isn't. No, no, right? No. And um, well, I, if you're in that position, it's not hard to get girls. No, it's, exactly it's not hard. No, it shouldn't be hard. Like I know it's not hard. Uh, yeah, it, it's easy because you, you, immediately you're like above. I don't know, ninety nine point nine percent of men. Most are like middle manager yeah. losers and fat and like right and, and lame. Um, so That's why bad. would you ever bang an employee? Yeah, most, yeah it, it 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 doesn't make sense. It doesn't make sense. I mean, like I've said, there's some guys who do it with the with the girlfriend. I've not. Nothing against that. It's, I think it's fine. I'm just saying that it might not be as cool as you think. Because, exactly. okay, now you chick picked up. Let's <laughs> say <laughs> <laughs> so you're making like, you and your girl are making like good money, right? Yeah. Like she's an OnlyFans, like you're a manager, you're a couple together. It's all, you're, you're in the Maldives. It's all going well. It's all going nice. And then she breaks up. Yeah. You lose all of your she's So you're <laughs> fucked. <laughs> yeah just like that you're fucked that's, that's all i'm saying so yeah no i, I, I you I just understand. need to be smart the way you do it and of <laughs> course like you said you could have a harem of 10 girlfriends but then you need to split now yeah you, you now you know you have another you have another thing going on now yeah. you, you like you're capping yourself kind of like now you need like it's it's all it's all kind of it takes time it's a little bit uh, yeah i mean it doesn't only take time it takes focus away from from the mission that that, that. yeah exactly I, I mean i'm i'm um i'm curious about you because you, you travel a lot do you like do you uh do you have, do you have like a, a main girlfriend do you have that or, or does it switch or how, how does that work with you yeah, I do. I do have a girlfriend, so I'm not against that. Like I said, I do have yeah. a girlfriend, and I mean, in general, I think it's good. Like you should, you should play the field, right? So, uh, th- 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 what I was talking about was just purely from a from a professional business yeah, standpoint, yeah. right? But as a guy, like I even think, like if you want, you can have one girlfriend, can have five girlfriends, can have ten girlfriends. Yeah, like that. That's all good. You you can you can do that, right? So I, I have nothing against that, you know. So th- 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 that's that's the situation. So no, I get. But it. yeah, I, I do have a girlfriend. Yeah. And I, if you, 
because you, you had girlfriends before you were rich and powerful, influential, correct? Yeah, yeah. I mean, let's say we, we go back to uh, Brokey Prince for a second. Okay. I mean, okay. how, how does Brokey Prince get girls? Because you're a Brokey. Well, that's the point. That, that's a very, very valid point. I truly believe money is not the only measure of value. In fact, money, you could even say, is not that big of a measurement of value. Because remember when I said that if you're like a sprinter in the world championships, you're like 0.000% of yeah. the world? I think I heard, I saw this statistic or something. I think if you have a six pack, you're like top 3% of the world, like only 3% of the world or something. Some ridiculously low lump yeah. number has a six pack. Yeah. And now let's say a brokey prince. If you're still very successful at sports, if you're still very, very muscular, if you're still a charismatic person, right? If you still know how to talk and all that, yeah. you still have cool friends, you're still way more valuable than the people around. You. Yeah. But of course, money starts accelerating that shit ridiculously. But Girls don't only look at money. In fact, most of the girls, bro, it's 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 funny. Let me let, let me tell you something. So I'm in South America right now, right? Yeah. And like I'm I'm probably the only person that has the combined characteristics like in this whole city. <laughs> yes. I'm, I'm I'm a 23 year old uh guy making a hundred grand a month, right? Yeah. With good body that is uh Austrian champion that speaks four languages. So what I'm getting at, the girls and the, the girls here think fake. Like they'll literally tell me like I don't believe you're 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 a catfish. So <laughs> my, my new strategy here in, in, in yeah, my, my new strategy here in, in South America is downplay myself ridiculously. Yeah. Bro, I was recently banned. I mean, I don't really use it, whatever. But I was banned on Bumble. And the reason was because I'm a catfish. <laughs> my own Bumble banned because I'm a catfish. You're too good to they, be true. <laughs> Bro, like, I'm not trying to brag. So I'm just saying it. Now, yeah. the whole point of this whole, at the end of the day, is most girls don't care about money anyways. Yeah. And sometimes even a smart move to really, really downplay the amount of money you make. Because now, first of all, you're avoiding the gold diggers. And yeah. at the end of the day, you can, you can come with other values, right? The girl is still going to go on a date with me because she yeah. says he's a cool and yeah. fit guy who's charismatic. That's yeah. good enough. Right. And then later, of course, you can see, okay, this guy makes money. Like, oh shit, that's cool also. But yeah, you can you can do a lot of other stuff. So and that, and that that's I mean, it's great. It's great you you say that. I um so I I I I re I recently did sort of an experiment and uh uh I I'm still on Bumble. I'm not I'm not as good as you probably. I should get banned soon, hopefully. Uh, <laughs> let's let's pray for it. But I, you know, that's new goal. Get yeah, banned exactly. On, Get on, banned on from Bumble. Bumble. Too good to be true. But um, <laughs> <laughs> but I'm on there. And then you you set up the dates, and yeah. what I do is I I pick them up in like a a decent car, but nothing like not the Lambo, not the Ferrari, just a decent normal car, right? And uh -huh. I look good, and yeah. but I'm I don't have the like the Patek Philippe or the Rolex on. I, I don't even wear a watch re usually. And and you just uh, have fun. Like I pick up. Yes, I pick up the check. Obviously, I do because I'm a man. But it's not like yeah, it's not that's obvious. Good. That's a good move, yeah, right. And it's not obvious. Yeah. And, and I mean, the game is easy. Like you know, the game is easy, right? You you. I mean, if you, you're ahead of 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 most men anyway, so yeah. And so the money is just a bonus then. Like when they you, find out, you, you know what's funny. You, you know what's funny? That's what I when you say the game is easy, I still think, like, if you say easy, I mean, I still have to put in some type of effort because I need to text the chicks. Yeah, true. You know, like, out of 10 chicks, not all 10 chicks are going to say yes, right? Like, I don't know, maybe I text 10 chicks, you want to go out on a date. Maybe, like, like uh, 
maybe like eight, five of them, eight of them will agree. Some like maybe one or two will not show up, but yeah. it's always going to be like the, the 30 to 50% who's going to come in the day to take funnel. their chicks, right? It's and yeah. Exactly. But my point is, you could argue, okay, how easy is it really? It's not like I, I snap my finger and a chick appears. That's still yeah, like no, that's some work. Now, what I want to, what I just want to say is, if even I have to, even though it's easy, if, but even if I, in my position, still have to put in some type of work, imagine how it is for a brokey who's <laughs> not in shape, who doesn't have anything going on for himself, trying to get chicks. Yeah. It's basically impossible. <laughs> That's rough. Zero. Yes. It's basically yeah. impossible, bro. Yeah. And I came to this realization like a, a few days ago. I was like, bro, like, because I'm like, I was like, I was like, text this, uh, we want to meet. And then she stopped answering. So I was, text this other chick. And then she threw, I was like, bro, if a, if a man of my, like, if, if, if a man in my position exactly. still has some chick saying no, how, how broke, bro? How, yeah. how does one not have this, like, urge to, like, better themselves? Like, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. So. No, I get yeah. you. <laughs> It's uh, fucking insane, man. I never, I never looked at it that way, but but you are right, though. I mean, no. it, that, yeah. yeah. <laughs> because because like, what's the definition of easy, right? Like for a girl, it's easy to get a guy. Like these well, OF chicks, yeah. right? Like you see the Instagram inbox, boom, 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 boom. Yeah. At the end of the day, you're a man. You still have to put in some type of work. Yeah. Like, even if it's get easier, you still have to put in some type of work. Yeah. So yeah, if you're in that position where like you're just a brokey and you don't have anything for yourself, that's when it gets hard as fuck. No, so, but it, it's funny. It's crazy. I mean, it's funny the how how you how you describe it. Like when I say the game is easy, I mean I was in sales for a long, long time, and I yeah. know like how how much work it is to you know get a get a lead, get a prospect, follow up, close the deal, yeah. get the money. I mean, compared to that, the game is easy as fuck. But if you like, if yeah, you compare yeah, it to, I mean, uh, m- most other things, it's still hard. Yeah, I mean, you gotta go on a date, and then some of them won't show up, and some dates will suck. And uh, yeah, I, yeah, that's true. Yeah, you, you you have a point. Yeah, and that's for us. Yeah, it's no game, I, right? It's just an... yeah. yeah, and even right, and like if I, of course, yeah. Go ahead. What did you want to say? No, no, go ahead. Okay. Okay, yeah, the, the only thing I want to say is a numbers game, and it's easy in the sense where I don't have much to convince a chick that I'm a high-value guy. Like, I don't have to fake anything. Yeah. Essentially, like, I, I do a date, I just show up, and I it's, and it's like, basically, I, like, look, it's me, I'm real, yes, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm a muscular I mean, uh, I'm very confident as well. Like, I'm very, very uh, composed. You're pretty. You know, hey, let's, what about we watch a movie? Like, it's, it's kind of a, at some point, it's like, it's a no-brainer for the chick. Like, at, of course. if you show up to the date, it's, it's like, it's, it's like, what else? Like, who are you? Who else are you going to fuck? Like, yeah. you know, <laughs> yeah, you obviously. don't feel this pressure anymore. But you don't feel this pressure of, like, trying to prove yourself. Like, you know what I'm saying? No. no. So yeah. that's what makes it much much easier and it gets ridiculously more easy to keep them after for them you slept with them because now you sleep with them and now you like you've really like you know connected with the chick so now the chick is like okay i just i just got fucked by this by this by this guy yeah and and then she thinks like like girls always have this list right like this list of like like what they want in a guy, right? Yeah. They always have this. Like, she's like, okay, fuck, like, okay, this guy's funny, okay, cool. Okay, this guy's, he's, he's charismatic, okay. This guy's well dressed, okay, fuck. Okay, this guy's in good shape, okay, this guy has money, uh, okay, this guy doesn't seem like a creep, okay, this Holy guy, shit. yeah. He's fuck, he's so well, I still like fucking back. What, what, what do you call it again? Like, uh, he, he, she still, she's still remembering. She's, she's still dreaming about, yeah. about it. Yeah. And she's like, <laughs> no way in hell. No way this guy just 
slip through. No. It doesn't make sense. If no. she's like some, if she's like has an ounce of quality in her, if she's like a, is not, if she's not a total and complete hoe, she's gonna yeah. understand the position she's just now in. That yeah. she's found something that's not very usual. And then especially in relationships, if you're a, 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 if it, that's the more you progress with a girl, the easier it gets because once you're in a relationship with her, if you're a guy of substance, it's it becomes ridiculously easy. It, it basically like the 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 chick trying her hardest to prove herself to you. Yeah. Like you know, Yeah, so. well, that, that's my point when I say the game is easy. Like, I mean, I mean, you you put it you I think you you said it beautifully when uh when you said like who else are they? I mean, who else are you gonna fuck? Like, come on. I mean Gary, yeah. the middle manager? Holy shit, come on now. I mean, dude is yeah. lame. No. No, uh, and, and, and then they, they, these chicks like like they'll they'll instantly fall in love with you like that that's what makes it easy right they're like they'll, they'll just instantly fall in love with you right like if, if you're just a brokey and you're just normal and there's nothing about you yeah of course you might get the occasional pussy and you fuck her but yeah yeah and then the you go back to watching fucking to anime holy shit yeah the, the chick <laughs> is never going to be attached to you and i've, and I've seen this like I've compared it, right? Like before, there's one chick, for example, and she used to be basically a fuck buddy. Yeah. And it's like 2019, 20, something like that. And of course, I was already like a cool person and everything, and she liked me a lot. Now, I recently had sex with her again. It was right before I left Panama. It was basically in like July. Yeah. No, no, in in like no, when was that? August, end of August, and she came in, and then she came came to my apartment, and the first thing she said was like, "Whoa, that's so big," and and yeah, for her it was kind of a shock. Like <laughs> she hasn't seen me in like like a year, and all of a sudden she sees like this level up. She's like, "So big, you whoa, wow. like that belongs to you." I'm like, "Yeah, I live here," and uh, with her, and you know. You know, it says like you got to put in the championships in the bet, right? Yeah. And she like totally taps out, right? I go back, I'm working, and then I'm very gentleman to you, of course. Like I order an Uber, you know, I, I I tell her to text me when she's back home, and like I gave her all this treatment that a brokey couldn't like give her, like even like give ordering her an Uber and everything, bro. I was so broke back then, I couldn't even order Ubers. Mm. Like in Europe, Uber. Like back to like like if it's twenty minute drive, it's like just twenty dollars just yeah. down the drain, you know. A lot of money. And I'm giving her all this treatment, exactly. And then she just she's like realizing now, okay, the sky's on a, 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 a whole new level. Yeah. And and, and since then, she's basically texting me all the time, all the time. And I'm in Me I'm gonna be in Mexico soon, and she was even talking about like. She's gonna fly to Mexico just to see me, <laughs> and, and, and stuff like that, and and I'm like, essentially, I'm thinking like it makes sense, yeah, because well, who who else? Nobody gave her the treatment I gave her. Nobody yeah. in the in she's basically never seen this before, probably. So I mean, I I find yeah, that the girls I find get mesmerized. That super interesting that you bring that up because that's i didn't have that on my list but it it's it's good to talk about you you yeah. say that like you you order the uber you you act like a gentleman and in general yeah. like in in red pill circles this is viewed as like beta simp behavior um and i mean i i, I think we 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 think along the same lines but I mean, expand a little on that because I uh, I find it interesting that you know the whole the whole like red pill view on this the gentleman game. So so the person who taught me that was 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 Justin Waller. So he He's he great. literally sat down with me and he taught me that. Yeah. So like, yo, Prince, you don't need to be an asshole. To, I mean, I was never an asshole to chicks, but he was just saying you don't need to be, you don't need to be an asshole. You need to be like a uh, bad. Me and Justin. You know, he, he taught me a lot of stuff in that. Yeah. Now, at the end of the day, 
you don't need to be an asshole to girls. In fact, being nice actually goes a very, very long way in general. The, the more powerful you get, the more influential you get, people remember how nice you are. Even, let's say tomorrow, uh, let's just say, you know, US President Donald Trump or uh, Obama, yeah. Eden, right? You're like, okay, guys, man of statue. And now, let's say all of a sudden this guy's like he's like super nice to you like even trump like he's he's like people think he's a very, very mean guy imagine trump is, hey how are you you know how he's courteous you, you know did you, did, you did, like, what, did, did everything go well he yes like, shows your seats you know tells the tells the staff like uh, you know take care of this guy yeah. you know he's my friend you know you came all the way from the netherlands to visit yeah. me you know and then you talk to him and he listens to you you know, he does all these things. And at the end of the day, you know, he, he he says goodbye to you, goes back to your car, you know, make sure everything's well, you know, and then you drive off. Like, he, he's, like, waving. You would actually, you'd be like, wow. Like, you would be, like, impressed by that, right? Yeah. It's the same thing with chicks. If a chick views you as a powerful individual, you know, you're big, you're strong, you're rich, you get all these things that are... Where, where you could have any every reason to be an asshole because you're yeah. that intimidating. You could and get away with it, right? Nice, you could do it. Exactly. If yeah. you're nice, it adds a whole nother dimension to your power. So yeah. a gentle, being a gentleman goes a long way if you're if you're really about it, if you're really an alpha male. Yeah. It's just like these beta males. Like they they, they don't have any other way to show their power. So they have to be like mean, you know, yeah. like, subservient. Uh, yeah, no, I get it. Yeah, no, it, I yeah. mean, I, I wanted you to like to expand upon that. Give me a it, second. It, sure. Yeah, so that the battery doesn't die here. No, but I mean, and that that's such an interesting point, uh, and I completely agree. Like, I I open car doors, I open restaurant doors. You know, I uh, I mean, I. You, you do all the things because not only yeah. are you not an asshole, but it you, you realize that it it has a, a profound effect on the the person. And I mean, to be fair, like I do the same thing with dudes. Well, I don't open car doors for dudes, though. But you know, you, <laughs> you, you you're polite and you're yeah. friendly and you're forthcoming with people. You're you're accommodating, yeah. right? That's what you do. And it and it and it it leaves exactly. them, yeah. It leaves them sort of spellbound, like, oh shit, this this guy is actually for real, for real, right? Gentlemen, exactly, game. exactly, exactly. So it goes a very long way, and and a girl remembers that. A girl actually gets mad. Now the thing, now the the key factor here is you need to be viewed as a powerful individual. A girl is not gonna care if you're nice to her, like super, super nice. If you, like, if you're just a, a normie, yes, a broke, like average guy, then yeah. it doesn't have an effect anymore because she's like, okay, what else are you gonna do? You have of to. Of course, be nice. he's nice. You have to be. What nice. else is it's, yeah. It's, yeah? It's it's exactly. It's when you don't have to be nice and still you're nice. Yeah, that's when she's like, okay, you know, the the the, the she she gets mesmerized by. So yeah, I, I think it's, it's it's super important. Even like what you said, picking up the girl. Yeah, that's that's something like it's gentleman. It's nice. I love you know, so. I love that. By the way, that's a good quote. When you, I mean, if you if you're nice when you don't have to be nice, that has an effect. Like exactly. Yeah, of course. Like if you have to be like if you're sucking up to someone, yeah, of course. I mean, you you're holding the umbrella for them, get them out of the room. Yeah, but that doesn't mean anything. Of course, you're gonna do that. You're a brokey beta pussy. No, obviously. But yeah, you, your, your you example. Think of, about it, right? What, yeah. What's the, yeah, I just want to say quickly. Uh, I don't want to interrupt you. I just want to like, what's the definition of the definition of value? Is something that's scarce. If something is scarce, it has value. Now, if everyone can be nice because they're average, and so they have to be nice, it's not scarce anymore. It has no value. No. But if you're big and powerful and you're nice, that becomes something scarce. Like, okay, okay wow, I, I didn't expect this. I, I didn't, I don't see it that often. Yeah. So now it becomes valuable and girls are attracted to value. 
Yeah, no, I I, I completely agree. Like I, I couldn't agree more. I I I I, I was privileged to uh, spend some time with Justin as well in in Dubai uh, a couple months ago, and um, yeah. uh, he, he's he's very very good at that. He's also, I mean, it's it's not fair, right? The guy is tall and handsome, and he's a good singer. It's it's just not it's not you know it's not fair. We should beat him up together. Yeah, Justin is like the definition of Chad, bro. <laughs> Justin is the definition of Chad. Yeah, next that's time we see is, him, we beat him up together. <laughs> I think that's that's just fair. All right, all right. Got to teach him a lesson, bro. <laughs> you can't be that fucking good looking and cool and everything. Yeah, bro. no, that that's just not. I mean, that's not a thing. Yeah. How do you exactly? How do you like if if I stay on the if I stay on the on the chick topic for a second? How do you deal with the the breakup? The you know when. When it either it doesn't work out or you or you decide, well, I'm not gonna see her anymore. How do you do how do you do that? Well, you know, a breakup is always man horse. You know, it, like at the end of the day, it's always gonna be messy, it's gonna cry, it's gonna be sad, this and that. Yeah. You're gonna be thinking to yourself, ah oh, shit, I'm losing her, this and that. But you know. What should you do? Like it, it, it also depends on the girl, right? If it's a girl that you don't care about and she's like, oh, whatever, this and that, then you're like, okay, whatever. Like, it doesn't even like scratch. But if it's yeah. a chick that, like, for example, you were in love with or that you really, really liked, yeah, she, you break up and then you have to move on. The thing with breaks up, break up is most of the time, guys don't know this, but most of the time, breakups are a test from the chick. They just want to test. How are you gonna behave when the breakup happens and during, like after the breakup? At the end of the day, chicks are attracted to you when they're respectful. So you have to conduct yourself in a respectable manner when you break up. And that's where a nice guy, for example, comes in again. Yeah. So what usually happens when you break up? The guy's screaming at the girl, you're a bitch. Fuck, fuck you. What the fuck? Yeah. It's like, yo, you cheater. Da, da, da. It's like everyone's angry at each other. But yeah. that's what everybody does. Now, all of a sudden, if, you, if you're breaking up with, or if the breakup is happening for whatever reason, and you're very, very nice to her, you know, like, look, you know, I'm sorry it has come this way. You know, I wish you the absolute best. You know, let me, please let me know if you need something. If you're very, very nice, very, very cordial, then now she actually has respect for you. Yes. She gets more respect from you. Like, yeah. even my breakup, chicks, like, literally, like, will, will thank me. Like, Prince, you know, we're breaking up, but you left an extremely positive impact on my life. You know, I, I appreciate you. You know, you taught me a lot of great things. You know, my, my time with you was definitely not wasted. Like, they literally thank me, but we're breaking yeah. up, right? And the chick has to respect you. Now, like I said, usually breakups are a test. And most likely what happens is that the chick starts thinking about you. It's like, okay, and then that's when it comes to, a, to an advantage. It's like, okay, this guy, he wasn't even like, I thought this guy's an asshole, and that, I, like, I left him because he doesn't, I thought he doesn't care. Uh, I thought that he doesn't really, like, treat me well. But yeah. I fucked with him. Even the breakup, he was, like, very nice. Like, he yeah. didn't get angry. Like, maybe I made a mistake. Maybe, maybe I, I, I fucked up. And yeah. I really fucked break up you're still trying to improve yourself you don't go down the drain you don't start like smoking weed and fucking uh watch netflix because you're so sad you're still pushing and you make yeah. more money and i'm just like okay did i make the right decision yeah what? like i met this guy was nice to me. even during the breakup he wasn't angry yeah he's still improving he's still getting better like did i bet on the wrong it was the wrong decision yeah so that's how you should do breakups don't do like the angry, oh, oh this and that, but fuck you. Yeah. Just be very nice about it, very cordial. Yeah. I'm sorry it came down to this. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. <laughs> exactly. But yeah, so that, that's that's my perspective on, on breakups. Breakups that's are a test. 80%, yeah. nine, almost 100% breakups are like a boomerang. It's like, it seems like crazy. Thor boomerang, like, traveling in opposite direction and it just comes back the girls usually always come back if you're a g if do, you're do you a, take, if you're a do you, g do you take them back it depends now 
it, it really, really depends what the breakup was about. Yeah. So, and I tell guys, you need to be honest too. Like I said, like being alpha isn't about like, yo, I'm mean, I'm cool. Ugh. Being alpha is about standing your ground and knowing your position. Yeah. Right. Now, if you did some things that was also fucked up in the relationship, which can happen, let's yeah, say, true. let's say you never saw the chick, you know, he's doing a lot for you, but you were like, ah, oh, fuck it. Like, you didn't really care that much. And yeah. you realize this girl was actually valuable to your life. And maybe if she's back, then it's going to be still good. Then, yeah, you can do it. But there's, there's, there's just conditions to it. Like, you can never take a chick back if she cheated on you. You can never take a chick back if she, if she like, openly, like, really, like, disrespected exactly. you. If you yeah. know that she doesn't have respect for you. Uh, yeah. Obviously, if you think she's just after your money, you can't take her back. Like, there's these conditions, obviously. Right. Yeah. But I think there's some cases where you can take the girl back. If she's like a, if she was a like good, sweet girl, right? And there was just like some unnecessary drama. And that's why you had to end it because you had to show her that you're the man, yeah. right? Like you, you're not gonna, you're gonna, you're not gonna, you're not gonna take shit just because she feels like oh, she can just like create some random drama. Yeah. If she was a good girl before that and she starts drama and the drama starts escalating and you have to cut it off, then yeah, you can take it back. And then usually I actually think it's good because sometimes, or actually, if you're smart and you're from, if you're about it, you can actually leverage the position and make her submit even more when she comes back. Because when <laughs> she comes back, she's the one coming back. She has to come back to your life now. Like, you know what I'm saying? Yes. So th- I know what you're position. saying, yes. Position. <laughs> yeah, there's a power position. She yeah. comes back into your life. You know, she has to basically acknowledge that she fucked up. So yeah. I don't think it's bad in that scenario. But if she cheats or like, something unacceptable that she was texting other dudes, if she, yeah, if you come out of the club, no, nah. yeah. no, no, the, the, then you're dead. Ball, girl. No, no, I, I agree a hundred percent. I just, it's, it's funny. We discussed this stuff. And uh, and it's it's like it's true, uh, dark triad stuff where you where someone comes back and then you know they have to submit even more. I mean, you can't say that in normal discourse usually, but it is true. It's it, this is just the way, right? This is the way it works, and uh, and I, I do agree yeah, I mean, 100%. Mean, like, if you but, but chicks are attracted, yeah, you know what I'm saying 100%, they're attracted, to yeah. And if, if you're like guys. openly disrespectful, See, like chicks, cheating, that's gone. Chicks are literally attracted to power. Yes. Like, they are attracted to power. So, you know, if you draw a truck and she feels like, okay, this, this guy is powerful, she, she'll get wet. <laughs> that's just the true, that's just the, the, the true nature of it. That, so, that's the way it I works. mean, dark tribe, even if it's like dark tribe, I, I don't have like, that's what I mean. I don't like like these these uh, red pill guys or like these tactics, right? Like, oh, like I'm just bro. I'm a busy guy. I yeah. don't I don't need drama in my life. I don't need stupid girls acting up. Okay, you act stupid, you have to go. All right, no. you want to come back? Look, you can't act stupid. I have a busy life. I'm doing this, this, and that. You either behave or you are out. Like yeah. that's a deal. We don't have Bo- to get both back. Both options are fine, right? I'm I'm fine yeah. with either either A or B. That's fine. Yeah, sure. I, I don't I don't like the way you fucked up. Like yeah. I don't like the drama you were causing in my life. Yeah. Like of course I still love you. You can come back. We can try again. But I don't want on this or else I'm not really interested in that. Yeah. I mean if that start trying, I'm just bro, I'm just busy. Like I need to make money, bro. Can't yeah. deal with these chicks fucking trying to add drama to my life and shit like that. Try, like bro, like you out. Like bye. Yeah. I don't I don't need you. Bro. I'm gone. Yeah, I'm gone like Batman with the smoke bomb. I'm away. Gone in the wind. <laughs> You'll never see me. <laughs> exactly. exactly. I'm like a relationship ninja. Away. Exactly. <laughs> I agree. <laughs> That's very no, funny. Man, but yeah, you, you, you just it's it, it's it's about I think what it's more about it's about being strict. You need to be a strict person. Now, being strict doesn't mean you're unreasonable, but you're still very, very strict. You need to be very, very strict, right? Yeah. That, that's that's the key part of it. 
I mean, think about it like this. Let's say you had a friend, right? And you guys had like a, a, a fight, a, a discussion kind of escalated. And now yeah. you don't talk to each other. And then you start talking and, and you just realize, okay, this was a dumb fight. Okay. Yeah. And but look, I don't, I don't like when you do this shit. You need to stop doing this if you want to, prefer, if you want to like hang out again. He's like, yeah, bro, I get it. I'm not gonna do it again. But yo, you did this. Like I didn't like it. You're like, okay, bro, I get it. I'm, I'm, I'm gonna try to not do that again. Yeah. And then you realize you guys were good friends, and you, you get, you, like, you just start chilling again. But, but that, and that, that's it. Like you just freak. Like you tell him, yo, bro, I didn't like the, I didn't like what you did. I didn't, I didn't like what you said. Yeah. I just didn't like it. And he's like, okay, cool. I'm not gonna say it again. Like, okay, cool, bro. Let, let's be cool again. Now. Yeah. If it's it, but if he snaked you, Ooh. if he like sold you out, yeah, if he like left you, hand, if someone was beating you up and he fled, yeah, no, nah, nah. if but, he went full Judas on you, yeah. fuck you, yeah, true, yeah, it's, yeah, no, that's, that's not, how I see it with, with girls too. Yeah, no, no, I I I agree hundred percent. Um, let let me take you back to to one thing that you mentioned, yeah. um, and you said that dating and in general. Uh, girls, I mean, I assume you mean business as well. It's more of a numbers game, mm -hmm. and um, like yeah, I, I assume, really game. you're not like you're not texting. I don't know, one girl a month or something, right? No, <laughs> no. Uh, I hope I'm not giving away. <laughs> no, any bro, secrets, that's not like but <laughs> but I assume we all understand. I mean, I mean, it's yeah. kind of secrets. Like I, I'll, I'll tell everyone, right? Like you just have to message a bunch of chicks if you want to get chicks. It's, it really is how it is. Like, bro, yeah. the, the thing is, you were talking about easy. For example, let me tell you what's easy. So, me and my friends will like invite a bunch of chicks, and we'll have like twenty chicks and three dudes going to the club, and we call it the wrangle. Right? Yeah, I, I'm familiar. Yeah, and <laughs> we'll have twenty chicks, three guys in the club, bro. That's when it gets easy. Can't fix, bro. No, just... <laughs> when I say easy, bro, <laughs> the, the chicks are trying to get you now. Like, I oh, no. <laughs> hey, wait, wait. I, I, I haven't made my choice yet, so I don't want to make out with you yet. Because yeah. this chick. <laughs> yeah, bro. Bro, if you're in a club with 20 chicks and three dudes and you have like champagne and fucking vodka and everything coming in and there's a yeah. bunch of chicks is drunk and dancing. Now I get other chicks joining, bro. That's ridiculous easy. Yeah, but that's ultra easy. For example, how do you how do we do that, right? Like we'll just text a bunch of chicks, hey, come to the club and bring your friends. It's a numbers game. If yeah. if, if like we just we'll we'll just text like maybe fifty, 50 chicks, and then we'll say yes, and then out of the 12, 25, 15 will will actually like uh, yeah. actually come, and those fifteen will bring friends. Now we're like twenty five. Yeah. Yeah. No, I, I mean, I, I agree that that's like that's ultra easy. But you you made it ultra easy. It's not it's not like you you started out that way. Like I'm not sure. I don't know if you're a big gamer or not. Or if, yeah. If, if you ever were, but I mean, it's like you you beat the game and then you start over with your fully leveled character, and that that's the way it works, right? You just go through the first oh, level. Yeah. I mean, <laughs> I know, slay yeah. everything first hit. <laughs> it's easy like it's uh, exactly it wasn't easy when you started but now i mean come on that's yeah you, you make it easy that that that's really how it is man that's really how it is yeah that, that's really how you skill you become better as a person like that's what i said like with the only fans people think like it's like oh gonna get laid as bro it's professional but i learned so much on the way where it's now it gets ridiculously easy with with a few things like i just know how to deal with with certain things and and it's like the leveled up character like you throw the same shit at me and it's just yes. i can just fucking slay it way easier than the other guy right yeah like if for example if you've gone i've gone probably with like maybe close to a thousand dates now yeah and you just see the pattern it's easy bro it's just yeah. easy you see the pattern of chicks yeah. same thing Hey, whatever. Let's spontaneous. Let's hang out at uh, this yeah. restaurant, this bar. It's all the same. Yeah, haha. -ha, here, drink. Haha. -ha, here, please. I need. But I have a. Uh, what else? Could I have a? Uh, what's it called again? Uh, with an M. Bro, now I'm forgetting it. 
What's the, what's the drink? The first one? Margarita or the margarita? Margarita, oh. exactly. Can I have yeah. a margarita, please? Two margaritas, please, for her as well. Yeah, margarita, he, ha, ha, da, 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 you know, the talk. And then you go up to the room. It's, it's the same thing, right? So, but you've Every seen time. it a bunch of times. You've gone through it. Yeah. Yeah. Every you, time. You've gone through it. That is what makes it easy. <laughs> That's no, it's, yeah, it's very, it's very to... similar. It's very similar to sales in a way where you know I, I, I used to be in real estate. I mean, yeah, you, you can wake me up tonight in the middle of you know middle of the night, drunk, half asleep, and I could do the sales presentation like perfectly. Yeah, I, I exactly. could do the first date as well. It's easy, and 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 people chicks are gonna say, yeah, you're very charismatic. Like the right? Time of the world and when sales, yeah. Yeah, and you like you me. turn it on, like yeah, exactly. Like, yeah, I, I totally get what you mean. <laughs> I, I totally get what you mean, bro. So that's how it is with tricks, man. 100%. So yeah, after it's you make it easy, you make it easy, yeah. and that's all uh, what I'm also working for, right? Like you were saying, like I want to be in a position, and that's why I'm not even sure if I'm in a position yet, but I want to be in a position at some point where I don't even like have to text tricks to get tricks. Yeah. I want them to be texting me. Yeah, exactly. Just like, pick you know them out saying? of your inbox. Yeah, I just want to like wake up morning. Okay. You know, I already have a trick here. Okay. Checking bank account. Okay. Millions. All right. I want a fucking new trick today. And go to the Instagram inbox. Yeah. Okay. I don't know. I don't know. The boots aren't big enough. Uh, Ah, hmm, this one. Okay. Like, hey, how are you? Okay. She already texts me, right? Like, hey, how are you? Hey, you want to like meet here? It's like, yeah, sure. She, like, it's her dream coming true. Prince responded. <laughs> and then, yeah, okay. And then you like, I think that's, that's the end game. The end game. That's, yeah, like that's the next game. level. Yeah, like, at see. this point, you don't even need game. Yeah. Yeah. Drake doesn't have game, bro. Like, that's, that's one thing I was talking about on my YouTube channel. Like, at some point, the, the crazier you get, the less game you need because you basically are the game. Bro. Show up. Yeah, I, it's me. Here, now that you mention it, it's actually funny. This is like shit. How long is this ago? This this might be like fifteen years ago. I remember okay. fi fifty cents came to a club in the Netherlands. It was it was around where really? I live, okay. and in the newspaper okay. it said there was a line of one hundred and fifty chicks waiting to get in to the room. <laughs> and his manager was just moving through the line saying, yeah, you can come. You can. No, you can't come. You can. <laughs> just that, that's the that's his level. Yeah, right? that's the end game. <laughs> that's the end game, bro. That's the end game. <laughs> so that, that's that's what I'm working towards. Right. That's that's what I I mean, of course, when I say it's easy to get tricks, like I have no problems to get laid. If I want to get laid, I get laid. Yeah. But the next level towards that is. Like it's you know I was watching like I'm a Michael Jack like I love Michael Jackson I, yeah. I I used to be like a huge Michael Jackson fan and I'm still at. yeah and I was recently watching one of his one of his concerts and bro it's like there's this one scene it's called Jam so he's performing the uh, song called Jam the name yeah. and it's like the stage is empty and then the lights all of a sudden go on. And then he like jumps out of the ground. It's like like he, there's like this platform, and up. yeah. And then he like jumps out of the stage, lands, and then just like stands like this with his sunglasses, and just stands like in this military position, and yeah. stands there for like for like a minute straight. And you can see, and then they're filming the crowd, and the chicks they just they just can't believe it. Ooh. They can't believe it. They just start fainting. <laughs> like literally, there's like you can see like ambulances like in the crowd like in the crowd getting these chicks like they're already the, the concert just started and they're already fainting <laughs> faint and and bro and then Michael Jackson like this and then and then he like turns his head like this and then you can hear that the sound in the crowd they start screaming louder and he just, they just can't they can't believe it it's just a, it's just too much for them and that's the true god level yeah like bro yeah i'm still getting that there. is like like uh, uh yeah yeah <laughs> i hope that, you get there first true god, I, like if there's one person yeah if there's one person who mastered chicks it was michael jackson bro like this yeah. guy could just stand like a statue and he would have chicks fainting for him yeah, yeah it's crazy
Yeah, no, I, I, I mean, I, I agree, and I, um, it also that might be these days that that even that is politically incorrect, but I, I do, uh, I do love him as well, and I, I reject all the bullshit said about him after he died. That, that I think that's all bullshit, but it's, uh, yeah, yeah. no, hundred percent. I, I, I'm a full hair buds. Yeah, I feel you, man. It's uh, but bro, yeah. the, the thing is this: like, I'm like, bro, how are you? How how guilty can he be when he got a, all charges? The, yeah. the charges were dropped. He won his case, and the first one they the, the, they settled. And And then the clear camera is It's all bullshit, bro. It's kind of the same thing what's happening to tape right now. It, re- it reached this sort of level where you yeah. just attract, just by the sheer statue of the man you are, you yeah. attract so much attention that just even if even if 99% of people love you, yeah. like the 99% of 50 million, you still got like thousands and thousands yeah, still. of people, the 1% that hate you. And those are the, the dangerous people. They're going to try to fuck up your life. So... You know what's interesting, actually, like I, 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 I'm, I'm glad you brought that up because it's, um, yeah. let's say you read that, you reach that stature, and at a certain point, like you're, you're worth a lot of money, you're, you're a high class, high value person, you're maybe you're famous, maybe you're famous in a small circle. If you, yeah, go through your life using the whole red pill like ideology pissing people off, ghosting people left and right, you're going to get fucked, like, bad. I mean, if Bro. you, act, if you yeah. act like a normal human being and actually you're, you're friendly and you're polite and you're gentlemanly towards whatever, you know, whoever shares your bed, that's going to be very, very beneficial to you in the near future. Trust me, that's, uh, that's, that's, that's not a risk you want to take. 100%. And that's... A- that's one of the things that Tate did really, really well. Because he was nice to everyone that came in contact, in direct contact with him. Yeah. He had all these girls even coming out saying, Andrew's not even like what you guys say. Like all the girls that knew him personally, they're like, he's a great person, right? Like Tate did that very, very well, I believe. And you have to be nice to people. I don't believe in being not nice to people. Now, of no. course, I do believe in, I, I, I do believe in being strict and yeah. enforcing boundaries if people like try to, you know, just fuck with you. If people no, try obviously. to scam you, like you have to be, you have to be tough. You have to be very, very tough sometimes. Trump says yeah. that. I like how Trump frames that. You have to be very, very tough on people sometimes. Yeah. But you also have to be very, very you know, don't don't be an asshole just for the sake of it. No, like, no, no. no. I, I don't hundred percent agree. And I, I mean, um, you you've gotten to to uh, I've gotten to spend some time with both Tristan and Andrew. Uh, I think you have as well, right? You talked to them as well in in, in the past, right? Yeah. I mean, I've talked to Tristan a lot, but not in, I haven't talked in person with Andrew. All right, but I've seen him. I've talked to him like on a on a on a video call. Yeah. So, judging by whatever you saw, like from from my perspective, the guy has always been extremely nice, extremely friendly, very funny. Very charismatic, very polite against everyone. Like I've never seen him like scream at people. Hit because this is this is the way so, people ask me like, how is he in real life? And and I have to tell him like he doesn't punch people in the face all the time or something. That's not what he does. Like that's it's, it's not a thing. Like I mean, <laughs> he's very it's nice, character, bro. It's, it's a character. It's yeah, exactly, character, bro. And yeah. That, exactly. Like the GTA, GTA Five character. It's not like he, he goes around punching people in the face. <laughs> exactly, bro. And and it, it, that's what I was mentioned before. That YouTube are made for entertainment. All these success gurus, all these people. At the end of the day, because they they quickly realize, okay, if I just say just the basic me, yeah, people will not watch that much. So I have to in make something more entertaining and kind of change the messaging a little bit yeah, obviously. to get to more people. Hype it up. So that's why Andrew, he seems like this brash, super like crazy dude who's going to like, oh, wait, you got a heart attack? Like, you're a pussy? Oh, <laughs> fuck you. Yes. <laughs> Coffee, fuck you, singing, okay, back you. in the game. <laughs> yeah, but, but he's not like that, bro. Like, no. first, 
especially Tristan. Like the, Tristan is a super. Tristan is a very nice person. So yeah. very uh, smart yeah, as well. He, he's also done a lot of. Stuff. Yeah, then yeah. Uh, yeah, smart. Yeah, especially, especially bro. Yeah, yeah. Didn't get the fight. Did, did you did you fight Tristan? No, no, no. I haven't gotten to fight him yet. You know, but <laughs> this is a beast, bro. Yeah, we'll we'll start with Justin first. You know, Just yeah, exactly. Yeah, exactly, bro. <laughs> exactly. Uh, you, you can't be you can't be that cool, man. You, you can't uh, let no. that happen. No, we can't do that. Um, yeah. But you have I to think, you have to be nice, bro. Yeah. yeah. Um, no, I, I think that's you know beating up Justin Waller. I think that's a great way to you know, to end the the interview. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> that's that's the takeaway you know we just have to do that all right uh, <laughs> that's the mission no. that, that, that's the conclusion of the interview yeah 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 yeah. we yeah, need yeah. to the short summer justin wallet yeah yeah when, yeah when you see a, you know, a exactly. giant multi-millionaire ginger that can <laughs> sing and dance as well just you know go you know beat him up take him up it's the right thing to do yeah uh no man i i, I very much appreciate you coming yeah, on a lot more people know that yeah, that's a great person. Yeah, <laughs> it was awesome. I'll um, thank you, bro. That was great interview. <laughs>